obviously tough news with Kyle. Uh, Dave said you went to go see him in the hospital. You know? Yeah, I did. A bunch of the guys did. He's getting operated on right now as we speak. So, um, so hopefully everything will come out good from that. And uh, um, hopefully we can get him back in the fall. So that's what we're hoping. Pretty impossible at this point to have any idea of. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. They won't know until they get in. And then, you know, he's a fast recoverer anyway. He's really built well and has a good infrastructure. So hopefully um, they'll be able to get in there and take care of business. And hopefully it's uh, in good shape for him to be able to come back. With him out for the next couple of weeks, do you move Donovan back over to the running back? Um, Donovan, we'll, we've been looking at it. Uh, today he just played DB. Anybody else that you would no, consider? No, not around? right now. Okay. Mike, you talk about the depth you've got at wide receiver this year. Uh -huh. It seems like you've, you've built it up and built it up, and now there's just a lot. Yeah, we got some good players there. got good competition. Um, and uh, um, so they've all been doing well out there and, and practice and making plays. So it's, it's good to see. It pushes them. And uh, that way we can rotate more guys too. When you have that many guys that are making plays, is it, does, it, does, it, does it push the guy ahead of him? Oh, yeah, it pushes the guy ahead of him. It makes all of them um, push to get better and better. Uh, I like I tell them, you got a good team. If you can look over your right shoulder and your left shoulder, you can get beat out. If you can look over your left shoulder and your right shoulder, you can't get beat out. I don't care how good you are. Not a very good team. What does that say about the depth that you've built compared yeah. to the first yeah. couple well, of springs that you yeah, were yeah. here? Yeah, the depth is a lot better than it was the first few springs. You know, last year we had depth. We got depth this year. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited about how they're competing out there. Is it nice to get Devin Ross back out there at the wide receiver spot practicing? Um, yeah, Devin's been around. He's had some other things he had to do, uh, but he's been out there and different things. So uh, he, he was out there today. And he was out there the last couple of days. How impressed have you been with Evan White as he's come back? Uh, Evan's doing good. He really is. He's doing good. He's bigger. He's a little stronger. He's a little faster. He's always been extremely fast and athletic. Um, and, uh, um, you know, he would have played a ton for us last year, probably would have started. Um, or, you know, or played like a starter. Um, so he'll play like a starter this year and play on all the special teams. And uh, it's a great deal. It's like getting a junior college kid with tons of your own experience back. So we're excited about having Devin back. And wish I could have redshirted him as a freshman, but we, we redshirted him later. So he's kind of sitting right where you want him to sit as a junior. Where do you see him? Like more safety or the buff back? Kind of both? See him both. He can play both. He can also cover. So he can play the nickel as we're doing the buff. He's an exceptional talent, I believe. Looking at the scrimmage, anything jump out at you after looking at it uh, in the yeah, um, film? Yeah, um, we had some guys make plays on both sides like you'd hope. You know, the defensive coaches want to stop them every time. The offense want to, you know, score every time. I Me mean, as a head coach, I'm looking for different guys doing different things. I was pleased with some of the young offensive linemen, the first time really in the heat of the battle, handling all that. I thought they, uh, um, the young offensive linemen, I thought did a, a good job for their first scrimmage. What's the next step for Anthony and Joel Meese? Um, keep getting better, you know. He's pushing to be a starting corner. I expect him to be a starting corner. I think we have about four guys right now that can start a corner, which is good. Um, so they all got to keep pushing. What happens in our world is they'll all end up having to be starters for the years over and play critical roles and play against good players. I think he's very talented and he's got to just keep fighting and competing.